Can we make flash loan on Binance Smart Chain? That would be really awesome. Thanks to the low transaction fees on Binance Smart Chain, you can experiment cheaply with flash loans without worrying about high transaction fees if you flash loan first. But the ecosystem on Binance Smart Chain is much less mature than on Ethereum. I'm not even sure if there are any project that offers flash loans. And even if this exists, will we find enough liquidity? That's what we're going to find about in this video. Hey, if you don't know me, I'm Julian and on Eat The Blocks, I teach blockchain development. When I googled flash loan on Binance Smart Chain, the first result was this article on Medium. This is the blog of a blockchain developer who built a flash loan system for the Binance Smart Chain. That looked exactly like what I needed. So I went through the article and I found out that the project was deployed with a front end and smart contract. On YouTube, there was even a demo of a live flash loan using this project. Hmm, it sounded almost too easy. I checked out the address of the flash loan smart contract and I found out that there was very little activity in the smart contract. The last transaction happened almost two weeks ago. To provide a flash loan, you need to have some liquidity in your contract but we have almost nothing in the contract. On top of it, I saw that this contract was deployed on the testnet of Binance Smart Chain, not mainnet. So I realized that I got excited a little bit too quickly and I needed to continue my research. The second project I found was Multiplier. Right away, it looked like a big project with some funding, a team, and a roadmap. So I got pretty excited. If they have a flash loan feature, it's probably going to work. There was something a little bit confusing when I was doing my research. Sometime I saw the name Multiplier, and some other time I saw multi chain LAN or MCL. So Multiplier is actually the name of the parent organization and MCL is one of their projects. After doing more research, I found out that MCL is a fork of the Aave protocol. If you never heard of Aave, that's one of the top lending protocols on Ethereum. They became really famous for inventing the concept of flash loan. Since MCL is a fork of Aave, they also inherit their flash loan feature. I already did some research on Aave flash loan before, so I felt like it would be easy to use the flash loan feature of MCL. So I went to the GitHub organization of Multiplier and I found a repo that has a demo of a flash loan with MCL. Awesome. I went in the contract directory, opened this file, that's the smart contract of the demo. This is exactly like the flash loan system of Aave. If you want to have an in-depth explanation, you can check out my tutorial on Aave flash loan, but very briefly, so if you scroll down, so this function is where you trigger the flash loan. And here you call the MCL protocol and you ask for the flash loan. So you ask for which token you want. So here you want some BNB, which amount you want, some data also that you can pass to the receiving function. And also you pass the address that's going to receive this money. So actually we're going to receive it on the same smart contract and MCL is going to call back your smart contract by calling this function here. And so at this stage, you do have the money. And so here you can ignore this It's basically you do your arbitrage or your liquidation here. And after at the end, you repay the flash loan. So once you understand the logic of the flash loan, the next step will be to deploy this smart contract and send a transaction to trigger your flash loan. But just before, I wanted to make sure that they have enough liquidity. So I went to their website to see the size of their pool. And for the biggest pools, they only have a few hundred thousand dollars. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. When you use a flash loan, usually you want to use the money to do some arbitrage or a liquidation. And for this, you need a lot of money, often millions. They are still a very young project. They launched at the end of February 2021. That's very recent. So hopefully they will have more liquidity in the future, but currently this is not enough. Another problem of the flash loan is fees. Currently it's at 0.06% and is going to increase to 0.09% in 10 months. That's a problem because if you use a flash loan to make some arbitrage, the price discrepancy you exploit are usually quite small. And if you pay a fee for the flash loan, it's going to destroy your profit very quickly. That's very frustrating because I really thought we could succeed with the flash on of multiplier, but actually it's not going to work. So back to square one, we need to find another solution. As I was searching for another solution for our flash loan on Binance Smart Chain, I realized something important. 
The solution was right in front of me since the beginning. PancakeSwap is a fork of Uniswap, and Uniswap has a flash loan feature. They call it FlashSwap. So logically, PancakeSwap has it too. On Uniswap, if you take a flash loan from them and you make a trade on their exchange in the same transaction, you don't need to pay extra for the flash loan. That means if you take a flash loan from Uniswap and use it to do an arbitrage between Uniswap and another exchange, the flash loan is free. On PancakeSwap, it should be the same thing. So I went to the documentation of PancakeSwap, but there was no mention of the flash swap feature. Hmm, have they disabled it? I don't think so. I think they have it, but just they didn't document it. To check my assumption, I went to the GitHub repo of PancakeSwap where they have the smart contract. I opened the file for the pair smart contract. In Uniswap, that's where we have the flash loan feature in the swap function. In another tab, I opened the pair contract of Uniswap. I compared the two files and I found out that the two smart contracts are identical. Bingo! We do have flash loans on PancakeSwap. I already covered flash loan on Uniswap in another video. So I took the code of this other episode, modified it just a little bit, and this is what I got. So this is a smart contract that you have to deploy to initiate your flash loan arbitrage between PancakeSwap and BakerySwap. So you will see a lot of reference to Uniswap and that's because PancakeSwap is a fork of Uniswap. So a lot of things are similar. So here first, you're going to call this function start arbitrage in order to initiate your flash loan with the detail of your arbitrage. Then we are going to call the pair contract of PancakeSwap and we're going to initiate the flash loan by calling the swap function. And after all, PancakeSwap is going to call back our smart contract, our pancake call function here. And at this point, we have the money of the flash loan. And after here, that's where we trade on bakery swap. Then we reimburse PancakeSwap. And finally, we send to ourselves the profit. So I went a little bit fast here because I already explained this in more detail in another video on my channel. That's the flash loan arbitrage videos to so check it out if you want more info. I'm really happy we found a way to make a flash loan on the Binance Smart Chain. One important lesson we learned is the importance of technical skills in crypto. The flash loan feature of PancakeSwap was not in their official documentation. We were only able to find out about this by digging in the code of their smart contract. If you can do this, you have a huge advantage over the vast majority of people in crypto. Another important lesson is that in DeFi, it's super important to be knowledgeable about a few fundamental DeFi projects. I understood quickly the flash loan feature of Multiplier and PancakeSwap thanks to my knowledge of Aave and Uniswap. You don't need to know all the DeFi protocols, there are too many, but you do need to know well the most important ones. And that's what we learn in my course on DeFi development. If you want to check out the curriculum, I put the link down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in another video on Blocks. Bye.